Bill Maher just attacked Kavanaugh's daughter after praying, huge mistake. Democrats always seem to go after their opponents' children. And we're not talking about adult children, but, like, kids who aren't even in their teens yet. A few years ago, a liberal cartoonist for The Washington Post portrayed Ted Cruz's five-year-old daughters as monkeys, sparking an uproar. Barron Trump has been repeatedly attacked by those on the left, what with Rosie O'Donnell saying that he could be autistic, and SNL writer Katie Rich tweeting that he would be the country's first homeschool shooter. Actor Steven Spinola said the Baron looked like a date rapist to be on Trump's inauguration day. Apparently, nothing is out of bounds for Dems, especially since Hillary lost the election. And cue the next attack. This time it's on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's 10-year-old daughter. Comedian and political commentator Bill Maher has spewed his hateful humor for years, and his liberal audience eats it up. Maher took issue with Kavanaugh saying that his daughter said that they should pray for Christine Blasey Ford during his testimony before the Senate the other day. Via Fox In his opening remarks during a hearing in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, an angry and sometimes tearful Brett Kavanaugh became emotional describing how his daughter suggested they should pray for the woman who has accused him of sexual assault. President Trump's Supreme Court nominee held back tears when describing how his young daughter showed sympathy toward accuser Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, telling her mother, we should pray for the woman. That's a lot of wisdom from a 10-year-old, Kavanaugh said. Kavanaugh vehemently fought back Thursday against allegations that he'd sexually assaulted Christine Blasey Ford when both were high school students, telling Congress that allegations by her and others have totally and permanently destroyed his family and his reputation. In a loud voice, The conservative jurist told the Senate Judiciary Committee that his confirmation process had become a national disgrace. You have replaced advice and consent with search and destroy, he said. Kavanaugh denied Ford's allegation that he had trapped her on a bed in a locked room during a gathering of friends when they were teenagers, saying, I have never done this to her or to anyone. With his support among Senate Republicans in question, he also said he would not step aside. You may defeat me in the final vote, but you'll never get me to quit, never. Breitbart reported that Marr called into question Kavanaugh's testimony. On Friday's broadcast of HBO's Real Time, host Bill Marr stated Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh was acting during his appearance before the Senate Judiciary Committee and said, I also don't even believe that his 10-year-old daughter said let's pray for that woman. Marr said, so, this performance he put on yesterday, I always say, you know, acting is not that hard. I've always said that about Hollywood. You can say that. And then reality television came along and showed it's true. It's not that, anyone can do it. He added, I'm just saying, I believe that was acting, and I also don't even believe that his 10-year-old daughter said let's pray for that woman. Marr also stated that Senator Lindsey Graham's, RSC, statement during the hearing was a performance also. What a mistake that was. Marr got quite the reaction. Marr also blamed President Trump for Kavanaugh's fiery defense before the Senate. Newsweek reports. Marr laid the blame of the fire and brimstone display during the hearing squarely on President Donald Trump. Why did Kavanaugh suddenly act that way, he said in a wind-up. Because Trump told him to because Trump didn't like that he was being meek and good bread. He likes bad bread. He wants someone in his image. So he gave him whiny little bitch lessons. And that's what we saw. Marr claimed the country was fated to a very different Brett Kavanaugh who he compared to coming out of the gate in his opening statement as angry as well as volatile, bitter belligerent. And Mar mocked him for it. Because nothing says I'm not capable of violent assault. By flying into an unhinged rage. Of course Kavanaugh was peeved that he was smeared by Democrats in a last-ditch attempt to derail his nomination. Democrats had Christine Blasey Ford's testimony for months and yet they didn't bring it forward. They kept it hidden until the last possible moment, hoping that the hearings would last beyond the midterms, or that Kavanaugh would withdraw from the process. It didn't work. And now they want to say that Kavanaugh is too mean to be on the Supreme Court, and that his daughter didn't offer up a prayer for her dad's accuser. Some people raise their children right. Those who adhere to the Christian faith do actually teach their children to pray for those who oppress them or falsely accuse them. I was raised in that kind of family and I remember being taught that, not only by my parents, but at church, also. Apparently, Mar didn't get the memo, if you raise your kids right, they won't stray far from your teachings when they're older. I'd say Kavanaugh raised his daughter right. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.